What's goody Pisces? It's your girl Blue Phoenix, and I'm back with another message for you guys. It, that is weird. This is actually going to be a channel message more than anything, y'all. I got so many downloads, so many downloads. But before we get into the downloads, let's see the formalities. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Blue Phoenix. For anybody that is new here, and Planet Pisces is a place created just for us to be in our Piscean energy whenever, however, whichever way we want to be. So if you would like to become an official citizen of the planet, just go down below and press the subscribe button. And for all of my beautiful, wonderful, lovely, loving citizens of Planet Pisces, hey, my babes, I love y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I got so many downloads, so many channel messages. First of all, Go listen to 2222 by Londrell. Y'all, that says it all. This message is a love message. It's not only, it's really like a, um, attracting your twin flame, your soulmate, whichever energy you resonate more with, okay? Your person, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, okay? Now, I will say, guys, um, for my men, definitely put the energy where it goes okay because this is a message that i got um oh the dreamer oh my goodness that says pisces um uh, but i definitely got this from a feminine perspective okay so please adjust the energies please guys thank you anyway so um let's get into it don't forget to like the video it helps me tap into your energy see your situation a little more clearly um and comment you know i love chopping it up with y'all in the comment section um thank you to everybody who has donated subscribed um gotten personal readings i thank y'all i love y'all and everything that y'all send to me i promise you will be returned to you three times 333 all right so first and foremost proverbs 31 I don't know if y'all have ever heard of that. Most of my women, I know y'all have heard Proverbs 31, a virtuous woman, okay? Specifically, verses 10 through 31. All right, verses 10 through 31 um, speak of, it's called the epilogue, the wife of noble character. All right, you see it right there? So it says, <clears throat> a wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Okay, let's pause, all right? So before I get into the rest of it, I am really just hearing a lot of us are waiting on our divine masculine, our divine feminine. A lot of us are waiting for our partner of divinity is what I'm hearing, our, our, our partner of equal reciprocity, that flame, right? That union that is cosmic, okay? That's what I'm hearing, a cosmic union, something destined before our time on this earth. And I believe for each one of us, we have that connection out here in the world. Send your person, whether you have met them or not, send them healing, loving, positive vibes, right? That's just what I'm hearing right now. But more than anything, I know a lot of us are in the waiting room right everybody been to the doctor before you know in the waiting room is boring you be ready to go you anxious you like come on let's get it uh can we please just get in and out and on with our lives like all of that right but during this time in the waiting room it is a time for us to elevate it's a time for us to ground it's a time for us to expand how can how can i be a noble wife to someone and i'm not educated in certain areas let me rephrase that. What I mean by that is, as we are waiting, we should be increasing. What do we bring to the table, as they say? I hate that freaking saying at this point. But honestly, like, we can't go into wanting to be in a relationship with someone when we're still healing from things that might affect our divine union, right? This divine connection is coming in divine timing. All right, all of my readings are timeless, by the way, unless spirit spe uh, specifies, and I'll usually say that in the beginning of the reading, unless spirit come out the blue and be like, nope, seven days or something like that. But this is a timeless reading, okay? All of my readings are. So if I say your love is coming, believe that shit. That don't mean it's coming tomorrow. It could be, but 
only the universe knows, you know what I'm saying, about the timing. As tarot readers on YouTube, we could tell y'all what spirit is telling us. We're a channel. You understand what I'm saying? But it is up to us to take the time that we are waiting on our person to connect with ourselves, to connect with spirit. You understand me? A lot of us want, but we're not giving. You understand what I'm saying? Like giving not to other people and no, giving to ourselves. I feel like I'm preaching. <laughs> like I'm like, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. and I don't mean to be coming off like, you know, like, but this is just how the message is coming through. So it is what it is. All right. Whoever's supposed to receive this message will. Um, anyway, I wrote down Londrell song has so many great gems in it. And he literally made me think of Proverbs 31 when I was listening to this song. But one of the first things that I picked up on, he says, patience is your greatest virtue, right? He also said, you have to be rooted. Let's talk about the root chakra, right? Planted, grounded in order to bear fruit. We can't go out to a tree, a peach tree. Okay, so Georgia might be significant for some. I don't know. Your person could be from Georgia. Anyway, we can't go out to a peach tree that we just bought from Home Depot or something like that. We ain't even planted it yet, but we want the harvest from it. We have to plant that tree first. We have to plant the 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 plant. We got to get it in the ground. Grounding work. Um, okay, they pulling me to my uh, black tourmaline. You know, some of y'all could possibly be getting into crystals, looking into the properties and the attributes of certain crystals. Black tourmaline is great for grounding, right? For pulling that negative energy out of you, for um, reflecting is what's coming to me, but that's not what I'm trying to say. For um, repelling negative energies, okay? Absorbing negative energies, right? You, of course, want to clean your... Um, your crystals i charge mine every day every day without like in the sun i need it in the sunlight but anyway um that's just a side tip okay <laughs> but um rooted rooted grounded and planted right we have to be meditating i'm hearing someone say i do that i do that okay well now it's time to be patient i'm with you though don't feel like you going through this shit alone Y'all know that's one of the biggest tricks of lower vibrations of the enemy or whatever, the devil, whatever you want to call it. You understand what I'm saying? Is to make us feel like, damn, everybody else got they person. Look at them on Facebook, on fucking Instagram, YouTube. Everywhere you look, everybody is together. They traveling together. They doing shit together. And meanwhile, we hear like, nigga, I done done all this work. I done journaled all these intentions. Yet I'm still sitting around here in the waiting room. It's a reason. It's a reason. And during this time, we have to keep the faith and know the enemy is going to be busy. You understand what I'm saying? The enemy is going to try to throw you off, try to put your mind in a place like, oh my God, it's hopeless. I, I, I have those days. I literally had about four out of seven of the past days, four of them days. I was just like, fuck it. Fuck it. I'll just be single my whole life. Fuck it. And God has to quickly be like, bitch, stop playing with me. What did I promise you? You think I'm going to go back on my word? You understand me? I'm telling you the promises of God are yes and amen. You understand? God can't go back on his word, her word, they word, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So believe that, have faith and know that as we balance ourselves, as we love on ourselves right as we dedicate precious time and moments to check in with ourself with our spirit team ancestors spirit guides archangels our whole crew right they see that god sees that the energies okay i'm hearing the energies that you are emitting are are being reflected to your person or something like what are you saying spirit as you are healing and doing the work, so is your person. You can't have this union before it's time. Mm, okay. Preaching to myself too, y'all now, okay? 
you have to keep the faith and you have to believe. I'm seeing the star card in my, my mind, right? And that's Aquarius energy. That's the a card of hope, a card of faith, a card of cleansing and releasing. This is a huge transformational energy we're in right now. Y'all, it's so many planets in retrograde right now. <laughs> Mercury is not the only one. You understand what I'm saying? I think Jupiter, Uranus, like all these niggas, they just, they just chilling and retrograding, okay? And they stirring shit up. The energy is super heavy right now. And I don't mean that necessarily in a bad way, but you might have mood swings. You Spiritual upgrades are on the rise right now, y'all. So it's not time for us to get down and doubtful. This is the time, literally, to have as much faith as you can that the universe is working shit out behind the scenes. Try not to focus so much on just, okay, I'm going to do this to attract my love. Attract love for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? I'm hearing that message so clearly of self-love, self, okay, abundance, okay, uh-huh, um, self-reflection, self-reflection, um, <laughs> um, shadow work, pulling up things that are, are like weeds is what I'm seeing, someone in a garden like pulling up weeds and shit, shit that you like is, is weeds when they under the ground y'all you know what i'm saying they have all these different roots and they go all these different kind of way i'd have roots tell my plumbing outside you understand me busting through pipes so just imagine all the shit that has been rooted and grounded in us since chillings since we was babies and shit you know what i'm saying it ain't necessarily just from past relationships and stuff this is stuff we've been holding on to since we were kids appeasing our parents and, and and other adults around us that shushed us or that told us to go sit down somewhere or made us feel like we weren't special we still hold on to a lot of that stuff unless we are working on it that shit it whether you know it or you could put a mask on all day long pisces but energy don't lie you understand me energy don't lie Hold on for just a second. Like, do 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 Download. <laughs> what? All right, so something about the news. Something about the news. Okay. Be careful of what you allow in the gates of your eyes, your ears, and what you allow in the uh, come out of the gate of your mouth. You understand? Um, Like, be in, instead of watching fucking Real Housewives or some shit like that, read a damn book. You know, the the effort you put into yourself, the growth that you are investing in yourself, this is the same growth your person is going to be investing in themselves too. The same things you want from this person, your 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 person, your twin flame, your soulmate, the same things you want from them, they want from you. Not literally the same thing, but what I'm saying is, is that like in the scripture, right? They talked about um, how the the men were saying like, oh, like this woman, she is, she a boss. You understand me? This woman got a job. You understand? Not a job. Like she's an entrepreneur. She flips money. You understand? She is financially abundant. And not just that, she takes care of her family. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing soft lines. Okay, that's Target and like department stores. I think what they try to say, I don't know. Anyway, so I don't know what that means. But anyway, like a feminine, I think that's like a saying or a trend now or something about being a soft life or something. Okay, a cancer could be significant here with the chariot. It's coming to us, Pisces. It's coming to us. I know we're tired of waiting. <laughs> hi hi i'm in it with you i feel you it can get discouraging it really can because we know how great we already are and i'm not taking nothing from y'all i'm not saying y'all ain't doing the work because i know a lot of us are some of us don't even know how to do the work where to begin with the work where to begin is with yourself shadow work meditating journaling scripting I would say even before you script for your person, script for yourself. 
I am so grateful that today I woke up in perfect health. I don't care if you got lupus, you understand me? Heart disease, I don't care, diabetes, it don't matter. I am in perfect health and I am so thankful. Script that shit out. I am balanced, my yacht, you understand me? Okay, a Libra could be significant. Hmm, I feel so aggressive. <laughs> I don't mean to be coming at y'all like this, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I want us to win. And we are. It is already done. You understand me? Say that shit. It is already done. Period. Have faith and know it. And sometimes you just gotta walk away from it. It's already there. Tomorrow is the new moon in Libra. Perfect time for new intentions. Perfect time for scripting and journaling. A perfect time for reflection. To see what it is that you want to manifest in this new phase of the moon. Fuck that. What you want to manifest, period. All right. So it says her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. Some of y'all could be artists. Um, ooh, the flame went out. Okay, that's significant on my candle. Hmm. Some of y'all could be getting something reignited in you, a creative spark. Mm-hmm. But something about working with your hands, okay? Okay, and then I'm moving like this, so some of y'all might can benefit from dancing or your dancers or something like that music mm, creators creatives mm -hmm. dreamers again i'm hearing that okay and i'm like mm. okay so some about music just the arts okay it says she is like the merchant ships bringing her food from afar all right, some of y'all could benefit from, or some of y'all may be um, chefs, cooks, um, bakers, things. And y'all know that's magic. Cooking is literally magic, legit, y'all. Look it up. I'm telling you now, <laughs> okay? And I don't mean like no crazy shit. Don't be scared of the word magic. Magic is a good thing. Hollywood and society has made it into something demonic, just like they did with African spirituality it's not bad anyway <laughs> anyway i'm not gonna get on my soapbox i don't think so anyway <laughs> it says she gets up while it is still night early rise pisces early to rise setting your intentions before the sun comes up i know i know bruh i have been i used to think the owl was my spirit animal because i would stay up all night and sleep all day i'm just saying now I get up without without any alarm. Four or five o'clock in the morning, I'm up. That's what I asked for for my spirit team, though. And since I've done that, I have literally every day, every day, I'm growing and I know it. That's the thing. Like, I feel the growth. I might not see everything that I want right now, but I'm telling y'all, try it out. Try it out for a week and just see. 5 a.m. club or something they got on YouTube. I forgot what it was. That's a dude that sparked my interest in getting up early because he was talking about all the benefits. And I'm like, shit, I might as well try it. And now I, I can't see going back the other way because I get time to myself before my kids get up, before everybody calling my phone, texting me and shit. Clear mind. Yoga, meditation, all that shit. Journaling. Um, journal, uh, what do you call it? Um, a gratitude journal. All of that could be beneficial right now, all right? So it says, she gets up while it's still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her female servants, okay? So a lot of you guys are the leader in your friend group. A lot of people look up to you, understand me. And I feel like somebody is like, but they got this and they got that. They got a husband and they got children and they got... Ugh, I feel icky right now for some reason, all right? So you might want to watch out for your friend group. Don't compare yourself to other people. All right, I'm here namely in a, uh, in this female group or something. Ugh, ugh. Something about the color red, okay? Gold, 
Oh, I don't know what this is. I'm also hearing a feminine ancestor or angel or something like um over you overwatch overwatch isn't that a video game all right uh clouds i see clouds okay anyway all right it says she considers a field and buys it you understand me property land expansion growth all right she considers a field and buys it out of her earnings she plants a vineyard mm. Mm -hmm. she sets about her work vigorously her arms are strong for the task <laughs> she uh she sees that her trading is profitable profitable so something about stocks and bonds too or investments okay <clears throat> and if y'all aren't up on this i feel as though spirit is giving this message as ideas for something things you can be trying to learn about things you can be expanding your knowledge on if you keep on doing the same thing every day and accept, expect a different result, you're not going to get it, bruv. You're not. You're going to keep attracting the same bullshit. I'm tired of the same bullshit. I'm tired of it, nah. I'm tired. <laughs> like, period. You know? Anyway, it says she, uh, she sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. Mm-hmm. In her hand, she holds the distaff. And what is that? What's a, a distaff? D-I-S-T-A-F-F. -F. If you know the definition of that, drop it in the comment section. <laughs> I don't know. Um, she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. What's she sewing? Some of y'all could be sem seamstress or, or uh, designers or something like that. Okay. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. I'm telling you, it's something about giving, donating, whether this is money, time, energy, but to those who deserve it, those who are in need, okay? But don't, it's a, it's a balance that we have to figure out though, Pisces, because sometimes we give way too much and nothing in return. So make sure that whatever you're giving, you're not giving from a place of, I'm gonna give this because I want something back, first of all. Don't give until you just worn out and tired and can't do no more and you don't have no time for yourself. No, give from your heart, right? If you felt led to give, give then. You understand what I'm saying? All right, I'm hearing tithes and offerings, all right? <clears throat> Let's see. When it snows, she has no fear for her household. For all of them are clothed in scarlet. I told y'all something about the color red here. Um, also, that was like Jesus' great, great grandma. What that lady name was with the scarlet thing. Okay, what y'all talking about? Something about a hoe. What was her name? I think her name started with an H. Anyway, she was in the Bible. She helped the men like Joshua and um, I think that's who that was. They escaped the anyway spirit. Why are we going there? Something about a hoe. I don't know. What are we talking about? Maybe they called her a harlot or something. What was her name? Oh my god, if y'all know who I'm talking about, drop it down below. And she helped the man up because she put the red string out the window so they could know when to come up her house. Because she they was overtaking the land or something. Anyway, come on, spirit. <laughs> stay on track with me now. <laughs> well, help me stay on track. All right, but the winter. Let me tell you, Londrell said in his song, the tree, let's see, the tree must grow before you gather its leaves and winter must come to balance the spring. I feel like a lot of us are in that winter energy right now. You understand? Might seem a little cold, a little barren, but this winter has to come. That snow has to fall over everything. Let it all die out. Mm-hmm. So the sun, Leo energy, could come out, melt the snow, and flowers can bloom, and our trees can grow properly nourished. Hibernation, okay? In this time of hibernation, this is what our tasks, our homework, our assignments are. In order to expect a return, we must invest, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So it says she makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Okay, I was thinking that that said a covering for her head. So it's something here about the root, the crown, and the heart chakra. If y'all don't know what these are, please look them up. Do your research. Once again, research these things, okay? Um, sometimes spirit, you know, will give you a message not for you to expect the, that person to continue to just give you everything. No, go look for yourself and research and find out these things, okay? Tarot was one of the biggest blessings and craziest things of my life because it prompted me to research a lot, a lot, y'all. Like, so look up the chakras, the seven main chakras, because it's more than seven, but anyway, all right? So some about covering your head protecting your crown all right that was in another message i just recently did too all right the color purple sadness that's what i'm thinking of with the color purple sealing them mm -hmm. anyway her husband is respected at the city gate where he takes his seat among the elders of the land okay so your person could be older than you your person could be a leader emperor ain't no could be is you understand me and for my men, put the energy where it goes. You understand? Mm. Wow. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. She does a lot. This lady does a lot. Damn. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She could laugh at the days to come. I'm telling you, brother, sister, joy, laugh at it now write that shit out like it is happening right now i'm telling you i'm telling you brother sister don't make me get my shit out on y'all don't make me get my shit out on y'all brother sister oh look takes courage take that message now but i'm telling you if y'all saw all this right and i done did okay boss showed somebody this they was like what the hell where you get all that from spirit okay <laughs> right free writing just sitting down and allowing spirit to work through you all of us are divine pisces every last one of us if you watching a video you are divine period believe that and know that you have a special connection to the higher realms all right the way to receive the messages is you have to clear your energy. I feel somebody asking that. Well, how do I get the messages? I didn't know at a time either. All right. I'm not sitting here like I know everything either. I'm still learning with y'all. You understand what I'm saying? But just reading some of the comments lately is um, a lot of questions and things like that. So um, I do want to address some of those, you know, through the videos as we um, as we grow. You know what I'm saying? Because if y'all see someone in the comment section asking a question or something and you have some advice for them that's a time to give give that person two minutes of your time comment back to them whether they like it receive it or what the universe know what you did god knows what you did and that's what it's about you know what i'm saying period period i'm hearing some about okay like tipping somebody right at a restaurant let me use this example you give them a big, nice ass tip. Like I'm talking about like probably 30% tip, something even 50%, who knows, whatever. And they're not appreciative. Don't regret giving them that shit. Give it to them and release that shit in love. And I promise you, I promise you it's gonna come back. It just happened to me last night. Cause the girl, I'm like, well, damn. What? And at first I was like, bitch, give me my tip. <laughs> And then I quickly, like, Spirit was like, hey, Blues, I'm playing. <laughs> you did not give that to her for her to give you something or have a certain ad. You gave that from your heart. Now release it and let it go lovingly. And that's what I did. And I repented. Or I, you know, I'm sorry, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. And literally, not even 30 minutes later, I got dumped, not four times. What I gave her was blessed to me. Believe this shit, Pisces. Do not let doubt and fear overcome, especially during this time, y'all. I'm telling you, all these planets are in uh, uh, retrograde. We going into this new moon right now. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now. Mark my words. 
all right she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue she watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness just being idle expecting for something to happen and nothing is being put into that something that we want to happen right her children arise and call her blessed her husband also and he praises her praises her you understand me empress emperor you understand many women do noble things but you surpass them all many men do noble things but you my brothers pass them surpass them all you understand me charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the lord is to be praised whoever the lord is in your life you understand honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring her praise at the city gates some of y'all are going to be well known okay and i'm here at worldwide all right i'm here in platforms and i don't mean just social i mean a stage i'm seeing a stage right now and i'm seeing lights and like stadium type things okay Mm-hmm. let me see if i have any other messages i know this message is kind of a little longer than usual not really but <laughs> all right let's see doing the work grounding meditating healing releasing praying journaling reading studying self-care self-love and being consistent with it okay your tree cannot bear fruit if it is not connected to spirit and truth Londrell said that too and also here something here at the beginning it's like in verse eight or ten i mean nine or something it says something about um drinking beer and wine all right so not for everybody but if you know this your message you know it's your message something about laying off of a lot of drinking all right and y'all i come from a place of no judgment i have done drugs alcohol i used to be a fucking stripper do you understand me <laughs> and i went from being on a pole it was on for three months but shit it was a part of my life it's a part of my testimony now too you understand me um from doing all that crazy shit back in the day so now i have three degrees you understand me so believe that and that shit ain't happened overnight <laughs> this was way before i knew anything about manifesting and all that i was just in a church you understand it was me and jesus chopping it up <laughs> real talk but anyway enough about me and my silliness um i love y'all i appreciate you guys please do not forget to like the video thank you if you decide to donate to the channel or if you decide to get a personal reading i really truly appreciate each and every one of y'all as i grow you grow as you grow we grow you understand what i'm saying this is a community and a place for us to love on each other help each other out and grow together all right i heard we are the rulers of the world period then okay <laughs> i receive it Shit. i'm just saying <laughs> all right and also something about this color or um amazon amazonite i think is the name of this amazonite Amaz amazonite or the color green or turquoise or whatever color this is what is this what color is that i don't know it's pretty though but anyway i love y'all and i will see y'all down below in the comment section thank you to everybody who was here for the live premiere you guys rock i love y'all talk to you later